UFL baseball starts the NCAA tournament tonight. The cards are overall number three national seed. They are hosting their third straight NCAA regionals as they look to advance to their third straight college World Series. Natalie Grice is out at Jim Patterson Stadium with more on the matchup against Moorhead State. I guess if you want to frame this, Natalie, you'd say, can Kyle Funkhauser get out of his funk, right? <laughs> Yeah, that is the question that a lot of people have tonight. Now, I'll tell you, Rick, the lines out here to get into this place were stretching just about back to the street about 20 minutes ago, but then they opened in the gate, and people have been going in ever since. And no question there's going to be a big turnout because this is a big game, especially when you think about what Louisville wants to accomplish this season. Now, of, this is a double elimination regional. So basically, no matter what happens today, the cards will move on and play tomorrow. But... There have been 160 regional champions since 2005, and of those, only 13 have lost their first game. So, yeah, definitely want to get off to a good start today. The Cards are going to have to get the bats going, and they're going to have to get a good start from, as Rick mentioned, Kyle Funkhauser, especially when you think about the numbers that Moorhead State is putting up. The Eagles lead the country in batting average, slugging percentage hits, and a number of other categories. Louisville head coach Dan McDonald has a lot of respect for the team and the offense. He says that is tough to do no matter what conference you're in, and that's why he's sending out Funkhauser, who's been Louisville's ace all season. And that's why, like we've done every year, I mean, we've we've thrown our number one in this first game. Um, last year, there was all this talk about saving a guy, and, and this is I've been doing this a long time. I don't know. <laughs> you, you save a guy in uh, Kent State, in Stony Brook, and somebody will embarrass you quickly. All right, so talking about Funkhauser a little bit, the story with him as he started the season really strong, was named first team all ACC, has a 7 and 5 record, but he's lost three of his last four starts and has seen his ERA go from under two to over three. So tonight, he'll have to try to push all of that aside and try to get the win for the cards. Reporting live at Jim Patterson Stadium, I'm Natalie Grace, WLKY Sports. Should be a great atmosphere. Thanks.